Strengthen your faith today, featuring a mighty metaphysical exercise, The Law of Attraction, by Connie Mendez. In this opportunity, we'll talk about faith and how crucial it is for our lives if we want to achieve our desires. Jesus said, Truly I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Matthew 17, 20. St. Paul also said, Faith is the assurance of what we hope for and the conviction of what we do not see. Now my question is this, if we have faith in a God we cannot see, why don't we have faith in ourselves to achieve what we desire? We are made in the image and likeness of our Father, which means we are creators of our own lives. Everything you desire is on the other side of fear. You just need to cross that barrier and stand on the side of faith. Faith opens doors to abundance and prosperity. Just as Jesus said, it moves mountains. Perhaps you've asked God for something you desired and it didn't come true. Over the years, you may have lost faith in deserving wonderful things in your life. You might have thought that because God didn't grant your request, you don't deserve it. You might have even heard others say, well, maybe it wasn't meant for you. This is where most people either console themselves with that phrase or start losing faith. You have a gift, I have it too, we all do. It's the gift of creating the life we desire. The reason you haven't achieved what you desire so far is due to a lack of faith, and I'm sure you've given up on more than one dream in your life because of this lack of faith. Let me tell you that in the universe, all possibilities exist. Poverty, wealth, health, sickness, love, and heartbreak. Everything is already created, and everything you desire is within your reach. You just need to strengthen your faith. Over the years, science has discovered that our minds are powerful, our thoughts are creators, and we are what we think. You should know that there are universal laws that are precise and never fail. When you learn how they work, the universe opens golden doors for you, and everything you desire materializes. However, the problem for most human beings is a lack of faith. Why? Because they believe they must see to believe. When, in reality, it's the opposite. If you want a brand new car, you think you must work hard first to have the money for it. Until you have the money in your hands to buy it, you don't believe it can be yours. The universe doesn't work that way. And please pay close attention here. There's the law of attraction. You've probably heard of it. Let me tell you that you've been using it your whole life, albeit unconsciously, and more than once against you, not in your favor. Let me explain why. The law of attraction works based on what we say, what we think, and what we feel. When you say, I don't have money, the law of attraction always obeys your command and of course gives you what you ask for according to the vibration you're in. This leads you to continue having no money because you get what you ask for. It's important to understand that your present was your past and everything you're experiencing you created through thoughts, words, and emotions. So, if today you're living in financial scarcity, it's because in your past you consistently decreed it, and you're probably still doing it when you see your empty wallet or say, I don't have the money for that. From today, you must start listening to yourself, and when those scarcity thoughts appear, identify them automatically and change them to the positive side. You must begin to use the law of attraction in your favor, but for this to work, you must have faith that it works. You must begin to create in your mind the life you desire. Remember that everything starts with an image. Manifestations come true when you begin with an image. Visualize yourself in the life you want every day. First, define the life you want in great detail. The clearer the image, the faster it will manifest. If you want a wonderful job where you earn a lot of money, you must see yourself in it, what you do, what you dedicate yourself to, how much money you earn. Visualize it all first. This will lead you to feel wonderful emotions, and that's when the universe starts opening doors of abundance for you. But you must have faith that it works and that you will get what you desire. The proof that the law of attraction works is your present. Everything you're experiencing today, you've created and by decreeing it constantly, the law of attraction has been giving you more of the same. People often believe that if their finances are scarce, 
It's the fault of the government or their family, perhaps because they come from poor backgrounds. What you believe, you create in your life. If Jesus said, according to your faith, it will be done to you. Why don't you have faith that you can achieve everything you desire when everything is already created for you? We are all creators of our own lives. We just need to have faith that we can do it. Now, please pay attention. Many people believe that to materialize a lot of money, you only need to visualize it and then sit and wait for it to come. No, that's not how the laws work. Let me explain how they do. When you desire something, you must first create it in your mind. You must visualize yourself with that desire already fulfilled. It's crucial that you do this. If you want abundant money, see yourself holding it, having it in your possession. Visualize yourself doing what you desire with it. The second step is the feeling. What feeling does having so much money in your possession generate? What would you do with it? Be as clear as possible in your visualization. The next step is gratitude, and this step is extremely important. Always be grateful in the present, as if you already have that amount of money in your hands. The fourth step is to start declaring with your mouth that you are abundant. Do it every day, whenever you can. Pay no attention to your current situation. Don't focus on how much money you have in your wallet today, because that will automatically generate a feeling of scarcity and all the work you're doing will be halted. The law of attraction attracts its equivalent, so it's crucial that you feel abundant, even if your wallet is empty. If you consistently maintain that frequency, I assure you that the money will come. To strengthen your faith, I'll give you an exercise to do. Start with something small so that your faith grows progressively. As you achieve more, your faith will grow every day. Here's what you'll do. Choose a debt you have, something you haven't been able to pay until now. That debt that keeps you up at night because, let's face it, everyone has had a debt that's robbed them of sleep at some point in life. Focus on the amount, and for seven days, visualize yourself paying off that debt. It doesn't take much time. You can do it for a few minutes, but do it several times a day. Visualize yourself paying off that debt in great detail. Imagine having the exact amount of the debt already converted into money in your hands. Thank God, the universe, or the energy for that money coming into your hands. The next step is to visualize yourself going to pay that debt. Where is the place you'll go to pay it? Visualize the moment in great detail when you're paying off that debt. Picture yourself leaving the place with the payment receipt in your hands. Be thankful that you've already done it. You've paid off that debt. Do this exercise as many times as you can for seven days. Trust me, it works. I've paid off pending bills using this exercise. Start with a small amount. And why do I say this? Because when you see it working, your faith will grow, and then you can move on to the next debt. Before you know it, you'll have paid off all your debts, and you'll even have money left over. Don't wonder where the money will come from or when it will arrive. That's not your concern. As I mentioned before, universal laws never fail. And when you have the conviction and faith that you can achieve it, I assure you that opportunities will present themselves in your life. Everything will start to change. Doors will open that you never expected. New people will appear in your life to help you achieve your desires and miracles will begin to happen. You just need to have faith that you can do it. Do your part, and God will do His. Faith moves mountains. I assure you of that. Start having more faith in what you can't see than in what you can see. If you have faith that you'll pay off that pending debt, let me tell you, you will pay it off. If you have faith that you will heal from an illness, let me tell you, you will heal. According to your faith, it is given to you just as Jesus said. Begin to have faith in positive things. Today, your faith is in the scarcity of money, because if I tell you that you are abundant, you automatically have faith that you are not when you see your empty wallet. You just need to shift from the negative pole to the positive one, and faith will move mountains. Set one goal at a time for what you want to achieve in your life, and no matter how unreachable it may seem today, trust the laws. Stay focused on your purpose, 
visualize it as much as you can. Dedicate a few minutes every day to visualize what you want, and always do it in the present because we live in an eternal now. The past is already gone and the future doesn't exist. We are always in the now. Something very important, please pay attention. You must not let other people's opinions influence your purpose. If someone comes and tells you it's impossible, you stand firm in your purpose. Often, the opinions of others influence us, and we discard everything we had created. Jesus also said, by their fruits, you will recognize them. If the person telling you it's impossible lacks something, they are not the right person to listen to. Look at their results, and you'll see the level of their faith. Don't argue with the person telling you it's impossible because that won't get you anywhere. Don't try to convince anyone, you don't need to. You just need to convince yourself that you can achieve it. Always stay focused on what you want, and if you can, it's better to remain silent about what you're creating. Generally, people like to see you doing well, but not better than them. They may love us a lot, but remember to observe their results. Someone who lacks money will likely tell you that abundance of money is impossible for you. Pay no attention to other people's opinions. Keep visualizing yourself with your goal already achieved. When you least expect it, your faith that you will achieve it will make your desire a reality. Make a wish list of everything you want to have today, starting from the smallest to the biggest. Your mind today will tell you it's impossible to achieve what you want, but remember that it only has the information you've given it throughout your life. Persist with your purpose. Keep visualizing yourself with your desire already fulfilled. And don't allow your thoughts or other people to influence you today. Trust me, and you will see miracles happen. I have completely changed my life by using the law of attraction positively and having the conviction and faith that I can achieve everything I desire. Completely eliminate the belief that if you want to have a lot of money, you have to work twice as hard. Position yourself on the side of abundance, and money will start coming to you from all directions. It won't fall from the sky, but golden doors will open for you, and all opportunities for you to grow economically will present themselves. Wake up every day thankful for the wonderful day you have ahead. And remember, don't say, thank you, Father, for I will have a wonderful day. Say, thank you, Father, because today I have a wonderful day. Each day you start is a new opportunity to create the life you desire. Remember, we are what we think. Feel abundance within you. Feel deserving of everything you desire. And start your day with gratitude always. Stop thinking that you have to see to believe. Start believing, and then you will see. Faith moves mountains, as Jesus said. Reinforce your faith every day. Always use the laws in your favor positively. What you desire is just a step away from you. Change your thoughts. Change your words. Speak positively about everything. And remember, what you speak, you receive. If you change your negative thoughts and words, shifting them to the positive pole, I assure you that very soon, when you least expect it, you will see miracles happening in your life. As I always say, don't just believe me, prove it to yourself. And that concludes our journey into the fascinating world of the Law of Attraction. Thank you for watching. To the receive a very powerful ancient technique to attract abundance, visit the link in the description of this video. And don't forget to subscribe.